Oh, let's push all the buttons. Hey, everybody. Greetings. Welcome back. Farmer Thrax here. Let's, uh, uh, I don't know if, uh, the music's going to be a problem here. Hmm. Let's, uh, let's turn it off. Although it's probably too late. <laughs> ah, we'll leave it, I guess. All right, so uh, Surrounded. We're going to play Surround Dead. Yes, Surround Dead. Got to put the emphasis in the right spot. Uh, brand new game for me. So, Zombie Apocalypse. Uh, more of a poly-style uh, graphical uh, setup. Uh, open world. Lots of different things we can adjust regarding the open world in the gameplay section here. User interface stuff. Uh, there's more somewhere. I think in-game I can adjust more stuff. Um, cause there's definitely more than what it shows here. Um, lots of other things. We'll leave all that alone for the moment. And, um, yeah, let's take a look at, uh, Surrounded. So I have played like two minutes of the game just to make sure it would record and, um, ran through the tutorial, which is just, you know, WASD to move and F to interact and that kind of stuff. And, uh, so we're going to start up a brand new game and we're all going to go on a learning journey and, uh, see if we can have some fun with Surrounded. Let's do this thing. New. What options am I going to get? We are Vorm Ithrax. Oops. That was an apostrophe. <laughs> we don't need no stinky surname. Prior occupation. Is this going to make an actual difference? Uh, what do we want to be? Unemployed pizza deliverer. We were a pizza deliverer. Uh, I don't really care about the rest of this stuff. I mean, whatever. Matter to me. <laughs> what hair? <laughs> what about my eyebrows? Oh, there we go. Oh, that's just going to change the shape. <laughs> All right, whatever. We got accessories, do we? No eyeglasses. Eye bags, freckles, scars, piercings, war paint. Oh, yeah, we got to include my classic nose ring. All right, I think we're set. Continue. Permadeath. Heck yeah. Yeah, we better not for this very first game. We'll flick on permadeath as soon as I have some idea of what's going on. Uh, we'll start with standard and restart recommended. I haven't started yet. <laughs> Changing the difficulty requires a restart? That seems weird. Uh, a lot of difficult changes while in game, I guess. Uh, oh, so this is the screen I was looking for earlier. It's got all this stuff. Stuff! Level scaling, time and weather, airdrop chances and time frames, infestation multipliers. We're just going to leave it all alone because I, I don't have the faintest idea what the game is like yet. So we'll adjust later if we uh, if we like it and continue playing it. We got AI stuff, we got loot environment stuff. Rarities, we got player options, and vehicle info. All right. Seems like a pretty decent start of, or set of starting options. <laughs> you get an achievement for Enter the Unknown. Play Survival. All right. Uh, I am seeing the message in German. I don't know why. All right, that's us. I can't get a good look at my face because he keeps... <laughs> keeps swiveling his head around in whichever direction I'm got the camera facing. 
Okay, so we're out in the middle of nowhere. This looks like a seven days to die cataclysm uh, middle of nowhere start type thing. So uh, we got WASD, we got mouse look. We got a targeting reticle. There's good stuff in vehicles, not this vehicle apparently. That looks like a vehicle, ooh, campsite. That looks like a vehicle we could drive. Yep, that's interactable. Salvage? Ooh, all right, I don't want to take that long. I don't know what salvaging does yet. We'll wait on that. Let's go over here. <laughs> I have no idea why it's doing stuff in German. <laughs> I have not changed anything. I don't see anything I can interact with here. Keep moving. Uh-oh. Zombies. Do I have inventory? I have inventory. Hey, melee. We have a little knife and some rags. We have a secure container. All right. Uh, number four, and then it's right click, left click. One, two, three. We have a map. Where, where the hell am I on this map? They're not a, you are here marker. I don't have the faintest idea where I'm at on this map. Can zoom. Hmm. All right. So we have a map. I don't know where I'm. I'm at. Let's see. What is the detection range for zombies? And can I sneak up on them? Oh, there is sneak mode. Oh, zombie, zombie. All oh, these, these zombies, these zombies move. It looks like there's a stun mechanic. I was able to hit them and keep them stunned while, while hitting. Hey there, five by five, huh? Sure. All right, we have our first, our first kill. We killed a zombie. I am curious if uh, this actually has an effect. I think line of sight, they're gonna come at me anyway. But like that one's turned around currently. So it's not detecting me while turned around because I think we're in line of sight distance. All right, be a good thing to learn. I don't want two. I definitely don't want two. I want to get in visual range of one, but not the other. Yep, there we go. All right, so we have a stamina bar, the yellow bar. Do we have durability on items? Uh, damage, melee, worn knife, just like a shiv. It doesn't show me like a durability or breakage. So I'm not sure they, they have that. A can opener and a, a shmog. All right. Accessory, okay. Hey, there's our orange. All right, so one on one looks like we're pretty uh, easily going to take on standard zombies. I don't know how exotic the zombies get. Whoops! Uh, I was going to was going to test the uh, the sneak mode. Bullets. We got bullets. All right. Go check the house. Socks, please. Ooh. Flashlight. Fitness magazine. Speaking magazine. Of course we equip. I don't like that I have to unequip and then equip. It won't just replace. If I have something in the spot that I'm about to put this into, I either have to I have to get rid of the other thing. It just won't like swap. <laughs> Face mask. Uh, right, sure. Scarf. Apparently, scarf fits in a slot where you've already got. A 
take that. Once red gives a times three multiplier to specific, to specific a passive skill until level up. There's no fanfare there. Oh, a lot of stuff. An eye patch. Oh yeah. <laughs> Boots, hunter hat. I don't know if these things have functions. Like, you know, you're showing that it's holding bullets. Does it actually hold bullets? I don't know. I think I'm just going to leave the rest of that. Food? Is there food in the cupboard? Nope. Binoculars sound useful. Radio... And let's just rip up the clothing for, oops. Ooh, these take a slot each. Wow. Hey, backpack, you're not doing me much good. Hmm. I guess that is five by five. Yeah, we definitely need more than that. Happens to items I just drop. They just literally go to the ground. All right. Okay. That's all we can do here. Uh, so we got what seems like possibly a outside border mountain range. Like this wall over here. I wonder if we're like somewhere on this road. Uh, if we hit J, we can bring this up. Time, summer, tracker, skills, reset points that we earn into different categories. What do we got? Critical hitter, demolition expert, night creature, distraction, lockpick, deathbringer, combat roll, parkour. Player can parkour while falling, jumping, and increase parkour speed. Harvest Master. Double the amount of resources from harvestable nodes. So I believe we have skills that we level by just doing things. Like fitness, we're getting getting XP and strength from fighting. Scavenging. And then there's like perks that we buy from points that we earn from leveling up and killing bosses, I think. We do have food and water to worry about. Rads. And... All right. No quests currently other than go to the valley safe zone. Okay. Hey, you. I keep trying to hit a, hit escape to get out of windows, <laughs> but that doesn't do it. Go away, journal. All right. Uh, let's get moving. So I see power towers. Some kind of building off in the distance that way. Uh, let's just follow the road. How, how quickly does stamina regen? Mm, not terrible. Some of the wrecks I can search, yeah, it depends on just what kind of wreck it is, apparently. We got these kind, which appear to be completely dead. Then that one we could salvage, but it had no other options. And I don't know what the salvage does. I didn't check. And then some with the smoke coming out are repairable and drivable. I think we got, what, a gas station ahead? Oh, crawling zombie. Zombie right there at the pumps, too. That looks like... Whoa! <laughs> Where did you come from, buddy?
So they do have a they do have a hit point bar at the top of the screen where it pops up their name. That one hit we took was twenty seven percent. A book, random junk, useless but could sell. No thanks. All right, one second. I gotta move my my hot bar, doing the traditional pop up at the bottom of my screen every time I look down thing. All right. Yeah, I'm not sure where he came up from. One person there. Really want to test this. Oh, nope. That didn't work. Ouch. Got a swing in. So I don't see anywhere. We got tools. We got crafting tabs, loot and vicinity, inventory. I don't see uh, any. Let's see. This is the closest thing to a character screen I know of. I don't see a like bleed effect place that I would check for things. We've got materials like this. I had, uh, I thought I had like a bandage type material. Like that, rags. Health and medical effect removes bleed. I assume I'll be like squirting blood or it'll have some kind of a graphical effect for when I'm bleeding. But how do I just gain, gain general health? Health 10. Use. Yep, that gave me health 10, all right. <laughs> Fix a boo-boo. Use a medical item on the player. I can't further break these down, so... Huh. Uh, that went into the tools category. Okay. All right. We're learning stuff. Can we actually climb? Oh, we can climb. Let's take a look over. Take a look around. Wonder what fall damage is like. That, uh, we got deer and, uh, and, uh, is that a rock or is that a helicopter crash? <laughs> I can't quite tell what that is right there. It sort of looks like the, uh, the main body of a helicopter from a distance, but maybe it's a rock or a Jeep or something. All right. Big ass wind turbine. Hmm. Well, I'm not going to worry about it. All right, let's see how we get down without killing myself. Is it automatic? Do I have to go around to the other side? Do I just jump? <laughs> oh, boy. Yep, that figured. <laughs> I don't know how to re-engage with the ladder. <laughs> Break a bone. So we have a boo-boo image now. Yeah, I don't know how to re-engage with the ladder. It auto-started climbing, but I don't know how to get it to... To do it again, huh? Wonder how I get information on that uh, that boo boo. Not gonna be on these screens. Uh, settings, controls. What do we got? Print. We know. C to roll, huh? All right. V to push or stomp. So tab for inventory, R to reload, and select items. We do have a radial menu. Change perspective. Yeah, I don't know. All 
All right, well, let's just go get killed and we can restart. I am much slower than I was. Let's peek over the fence by tilting our camera angle. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I'm slower. I feel slower. Your flashlight. Uh, no. No looting trash cans. Whoa! <laughs> they're, they're completely silent. Am I gonna die? Down to 12. Uh-oh, Pistola. 9 mil, and I got 9 mil ammo. Do we not have a magazine? Hmm. I think I need a magazine for it. And you load the magazine, and then you drag the magazine onto the uh, the weapon. So unfortunately, that's not going to work. The world is all grayed out when I'm uh, when I'm wounded. It's that whole shelf, huh? Okay. Hmm. Not interactable. Two zombies over there I'd rather not deal with right now. Cans of gas. I can't afford to try carrying those. The food's pretty good. Water's a little low. Reds is fine. Healing is terrible. Oh, our negative condition just went away, so apparently it's on a timer. Not sure I like the washed out coloring just because I'm wounded. Going to assume we have a static map. Well, if I want to keep going that way. Sleeping bag. That's our save item. So, oh, how's it work? Nice place to sleep. Right click, place. Click. Place down a buildable. All right. Sleep or set spawn point. Or pick it up. All right. On point set. Uh, I have no idea if sleeping heals. What time is it? 1700, huh? Uh, no buildings nearby. Oh, we got, uh, never mind. We got buildings just down the road. All right. Let's uh, see how bad things get when I try to sleep. 
Too early to sleep yet. Yeah, wait until 1930. I can't afford to wait till 1930. <laughs> um, all right, let's fiddle with inventory for a minute. So I can't do much here. We do have a flashlight, which we can get to via the radial menu. No battery. Okay. Um, Got binoculars. Expensive tap water. And eh, we'll wait on that. All right, so how about the, uh, whoops, that's the push. How about the binox? Whoa, holy crap. <laughs> it's a big blade of grass. <laughs> uh, I can't zoom. I can't move while engaging the binoculars. Why do I feel like it? It's got me laying on the ground. <laughs> I, I can actually crouch. Wait, no, crouch just makes it bump. <laughs> How the hell do I get out of the binoculars? That's weird. All right, uh, what else we got to play with? No battery. It doesn't indicate a battery status anywhere when I point at it, so. No throwable fishing rod. Oh, we, do, we can get a compass and a GPS. All right, so that's how you figure out where you're at. We gotta find items that'll give us that info. Crafting, campfire. Fires wood and stone. Gives. Start blade and cloth. What is that? A workbench? Crafting bench. Blocks, spawns, craft a larger variety of items. Wood, scrap metal, and nails. And a splint for the broken bones that we had. Scrap metal and wood. All right. So we got crafting stuff. Um... Another hour. So we don't have an axe for the wood. We don't have a pickaxe for stone. I think we're stuck in the uh, staying alive while looting to get the basics. I don't know if you can bootstrap your way into the crafting system. Can't interact with the fire. Ah, all right, so you can make bag bandages and rags. So that one has just cut that up. That's what I should have done earlier with those rags, or the, the cloth that I had, turned them into rags and then into bandages with antiseptic. Got it. wonder if you find any materials in the world or if they all have to be harvested. Oh, yep. Seems dark now. Too early still. Oh, it's only 1846. Okay, what else can we look at? Satchel pack, five by five, which is what we've got there. We can close and open those containers. Nothing in the vicinity. I don't see stats for anything. Like it says, heavy jeans. Does that benefit me in any way? Are these just visual? I mean, you would think a football helmet provides protection, but again, I see no stats or information, so I don't know. Oh, never mind. There's a stat. So some things have statistics. <coughs> hmm. 19 damage, 71 for headshots. Because of course, it's a zombie game. And I mean, headshots against, you know, <laughs> living humans would probably be similar. 
Uh, 80 meters, 4% crits, crit hit damage multiplier. Really? You get a 4% chance to do 15% more damage? That seems goofy. I think that's the worst <laughs> or lowest damage bonus I've ever seen from a crit. <laughs> what is the point of that? Uh, I mean, it's free damage, I guess, but that seems weird. That is, that is a, I don't know, maybe it's specific to the weapon. Maybe there's other weapons that, you know, have a 3% crit chance, but a 50% crit damage multiplier. That just seems really weird. Oh, wow, it is dark. All right, so they're not messing around when the darkness shows up. Sleep or survive the night? What the hell? Do you want to sleep until morning? Morning is 6.30, apparently. Okay. And we did not heal. Not even a tiny bit. Let's have some expensive water. And, um, you know, head into town with our 12% health. It'll be fine. So this is smoking, which I think indicates it's, it's up oh, salvage again. All right. It does look fairly wrecked. Let's see what salvaging does. They're going to be raw materials like metal. Uh, <laughs> oh, yep, scrap metal. Okay. I have nowhere to store anything. Sure. I don't know if there's a sort inventory button or if I have to play manual Tetris to move things around to get space. Everything's still grayed out. Damn it. I don't like the color palette change just because I'm wounded. <laughs> it's annoying. Uh, that's at least two zombies. We're not going to get them down without dying. Now it's one, two, three, four, five. Five, six, crawler plus two, three plus a crawler, plus one inside moving around now. The horde. Uh oh. Crawler spotted me, I think. Yep, crawler definitely spotted me. I don't know if there are typically like back ways in or looks like a barbed wire across the fence and the fence is all the way around. So I doubt I can get in that way. But we did lose him because we're faster. I guess he's a good one to to uh, practice the detection stuff on. So doesn't see me, doesn't see me. I want to get behind and then crouch and see when the thing triggers detection. Oops. Ah, coming right at me. Spotted me again. Wonder if I'm faster than all these guys within the limits of my stamina. And if uh, doing Pied Piper maneuvers is a thing. Let's try Pied Piper. Let's walk in. And then I'll start running. Hey everyone. Do you return to your home? And do I have the stamina to outdistance you all? That is a lot of stamina. break visual contact here in the trees. All right, let's circle around and see if they wander back to their start point. 
That would seem to be an awful easy thing to do to clear an area so you can go in and loot. They're still over there to the left. Got the crawler there, but we probably lost contact with the crawler. Up, oh, there's two crawlers. Yeah, they couldn't follow me as easily. So, try to sneak in. That one's facing right towards us. Yep. Um, will I have time to loot? Search the concrete mixer. Bags of concrete. Well, who am I hearing? <laughs> Is there somebody on the roof? Oh, er. interesting. What's up? Compass. Ah. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> uh, they're all super ninjas. <laughs> super ninjas. They make no sound. Who knew zombification made you a super ninja? All right. So uh, we're just flat dead. Killed eight zombies, big whoop, respawn random, respawn to the spawn point, quit to the main menu. So that puts me back here with just the basic starting gear. So does it leave a lootable corpse if I go back to that spot? Let's go back and see if we left a lootable corpse. And are the zombies still in the same positions? We're figuring out mechanics. Well, they're all respawned back into their starting position, which makes going back in there a little tough. I'm still going to go back in. I want to see if it shows like a corpse where I died. So if body recovery is a thing. Or do you just lose all your crap? And is that a configure? Oh, it does say death location. And it's going to make me pick everything up individually, though. So it's going to be a... Hey, guys. Oh, they can get blocked by vehicles. Oh, interesting. Okay. I can just about keep up an infinite jog to stay just ahead of them and recover my stamina. quite get far enough. Oh, of course it gave me a bleed. <laughs> Bunny rabbit. Uh, as we bleed out. I don't have time to fix it. I'm chasing the bunny. That's interesting. Oh, they're killing the bunny. Don't go that way, bunny. You're going to get it eaten by zombies. Stamina back. Uh, 
Is this multiplayer? It is not. Multiplayer on the roadmap for maybe... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the game well enough, and I haven't been following the development, so... I did see that multiplayer is a wished-for future feature, but it does not currently have multiplayer. Oh, it stopped searching when I pivot my looking view around. Whoa. Dry bag, 5x5, five five. rifle, Mosin. We got a Mosin? Small generator? <laughs> Can't even fit the Mosin. Uh, secondary, primary, oh, melee. Common melee. You in my secure container? Hunting knife, sure. Twenty seven damage versus fourteen. Three stamina drain. Thirty percent crit chance. Stamina drain is the same, so yeah, you're you're junk. We'll leave you behind. Till I learn if there's durability or not. Alright, that's pretty good stuff. Nothing in there. Gunpowder, broken glass, antiseptic, yes. And, oh, yep, that is my corpse. <laughs> that is my stuff. Oh, that's interesting. Don't need another one. Um, a lot of five by fives. I don't know if it really makes a difference. All right, so corpse runs are a thing. Assuming you're not playing permadeath. Which we will be doing shortly. Well, kind of depends on the game mechanics involved, whether I stick with permadeath. All right, I don't see anything else to do here. So uh, the Mosin is not going to fire. No ammo. Nine mil is not going to fire. No magazine. Uh, pipe is 24 and 4 with a 14 14, huh? I think I'll go with, well, I don't know if you can rotate. Oh, you can rotate. R to rotate. All right, we'll go like that. Hey. All right, much better. I want a stand-up fight against a zombie. Uh, do I? I guess I. Do I go back and get my my sleeping bag? Almost noon. I don't plan on staying in the area. Um. Yeah, we better go back and get our sleeping bag. I have no idea how rare those things are. Excuse me. Let's summon the Vormithrax. Forgot I didn't have that on. Right there in between. You try to take the magazine out of the weapon? I don't know. I, there's there's nothing listed there. There's nothing listed there. I, I think the magazine being shown is a, just a graphical thing. 
I'm pretty sure it doesn't have a magazine because the little demo tutorial thing, the weapon was separate from the magazine, was separate from the ammo. You had to drag the ammo onto the magazine, then drag the magazine onto the weapon. So that's why I'm assuming, even though the picture shows the mag, I think it's not actually there. Ah, oh, it's been just fine. I've been, I've been, I've been doing fine. All right, come here, you. Uh, nope, I want to uh, pick up. No place to put it. Yeah, I kind of figured that'd be a problem. I think I'm going to dump that. All right. What's the stacking limit? Do we have a stacking limit? Um, I'm actually thinking of going that way. Wait, we have a compass now, right? Uh, yeah. Equip. Hey, look at that. All right, so that is north. So we're on the northern border. We're up here. Where would we be right now? We haven't seen a river. At least I think we're on a border. I haven't seen a big facility like that. I guess it's possible we're we're in the valleys here somewhere. Hmm. I need GPS to figure out where I'm at till we learn this map. I think I'm just going to go that way. <clears throat> so we saw rabbits. We saw a deer. Actually, I didn't go check that helicopter spot. Let's go check that real quick. What I thought was a helicopter. It was down here somewhere, right? Yeah, it's like a poly daisy. There's the deer. Are they dangerous? If I start trying to stab... Oh, there's a bunch of them. Oh, it is a helicopter. All right, I guess I'm not going to have to worry about are they dangerous because I'm not likely to catch one. Y'all are just hanging out here. Hey! <laughs> Scared the crap out of me. Nice. I see. There's some scary damn deer. Alright. Stay, stay pointing at the boxes. Construction helmet. Inspect. Doesn't say it gives protection. Generator again. A pipe wrench, 25 and 3. So, not too exciting, unfortunately. Guess we'll carry a gas can. All right, uh, back the other way. Regain stamina faster when you're not moving. Mm, if you do, I can't notice the difference. All right, let's keep going. Do do. Looking for any kind of good landmark. Ah, so from one comment I saw in the Steam discussion section, this is apparently a harvestable rock. 
So you got to look for the, the, the moss. The moss indicates that's a harvestable rock, so you can hit it with a pickaxe to actually get stuff. That I wouldn't be able to harvest. This I can. I don't know how common they are. Oh wait, I gotta I gotta right click, left click while trying to run. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Okay, so we got six raw meat. Probably not. Probably bet. Probably not best to eat this. Hunger eight, health minus ten. All right, poor bunnies. Well, we found a road and a pathway that would usually lead somewhere. Hey there, Jeep. This is going to give me metal, which I think takes, uh, we've got 15. Yeah, I guess we hit the stack limit. 20? Nope, 15. I don't see anything regarding like statistics or weight limits or anything like that. I think it's just all inventory Tetris. Uh, so we got a building up there. Uh, I'm kind of curious the pathway. We'll check the pathway first and then work our way over that way. And the hell do you hit the things? Gotta get right on top of them. That's kind of a silly system. All right, I see zombie in a shed. Multiple zombies, multiple zombies. I don't know if one zombie will uh, bring a second zombie, if they alert type of a setup. Oh, is that a zombie or a skeleton? <laughs> I think, I can't quite tell. It looks pretty skinny, but it might not have filled in the graphic from this distance. But I don't know, given they're like five feet apart, if I inch forward, will I just attract the one or will he moan and bring the other one with him or anything like that? Let's test it. Nope, all right. Good to know. How come I'm not getting the nameplate and the hit point value at the top like we did earlier? Another nine mil with no ammo. Since I haven't seen durability, multiples, the only benefit would be selling. I don't know who or how to sell yet, so. Yeah, I was getting a nameplate and a hit point bar earlier. So I'm not sure why that's not happening anymore. Hunting knife is definitely better. What are you? Just a graphic that kind of looks like a skeleton from a distance. I don't want to shiv. Loot! Sleeping bag, glass generator. I'm not sure what quick search does. Is it like a louder version of searching or do you get less items? Jeans with knee pads. That sounds better. It's got a, it's blue. Is that a rare? Oh yeah, it does have a rarity. That's common. That's rare. Got two by two storage. Got no storage. All right. Hey, you, uh, drop, whip. Bullet casings, rope sounds useful. Money sounds eh, maybe useful. Um, 
I don't know how far this thing's gonna go. Let's turn back this way. Oh yeah, this is early access. I mean, it's been out for a little while, but I have no idea just how much of the gameplay is in there currently. I don't think it's really an extraction type of survival game. It's an open world survival, but I believe it's a fixed map. I don't know how much randomization there is in like loot or items or zombie population or whatever. And I'm not seeing, I don't know if this is the entire map even. I, it seems like pretty small and there's not many, I guess when I zoom in, that's a fair number of buildings, but it doesn't look like there's really populated areas. Shipping facility. Hey there, map. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it, this is the full map. I, I can't imagine it is. That That's a fair size. There may be zone points. So, we'll have to keep an eye out. I don't see what would look like a zone point anywhere on this. I don't know. We'll figure it out as we go. See what opportunities present. Right now, we're just getting basic mechanics and zombie behaviors and that kind of stuff figured out. That is a lot of zombies. I don't need that many zombies. I need to test a few things a little further, like the uh, sneak mechanic. Just how effective is it? And do we make sound that they can hear me in a certain radius if they're not turned to face me? Ooh, like this guy. Nope, he turned immediately. Is that a random move or did he actually detect me? They get blocked pretty easy, it looks like. I want to know why... Maybe is the compass interfering with the nameplate and hit point bar info we got before? I wonder if that's what's going on. So, can we sneak up on a zombie? This is like the perfect opportunity facing directly away from me. Oh, crap. <laughs> you interrupted my test. We're easily blocked on vehicles. You heard me that time. I don't think... I don't think you can get, like, headshot damage with melee. Hoping to get them both before I got tagged. Drink that can opener we need for canned foods. All right, I think we're clear over there at least. One still there. Let's uh, let's go upstairs and take a look. I don't know how complex the buildings get. Oh. Ah, whoa, nice. Is it nice? Small survival. That's 24, 30, 34 versus 25, just split up into different groupings as opposed to being a five by five grid that would hold larger items. So you're trading um, total slots for how big certain areas are to be able to hold items like that. Battery. All right. I uh, can do without the rest. Fishing rod. That's what, five tall? So we'd have to get it in like to one of these or into here. And I need a spot to kind of set up a little camp. I need to figure out how to get some storage. I don't know if items persist. Or if there's respawn mechanics or what. So yeah, that sounds good. But how do you actually do a transfer of, of goods if you've got the different storage slot amounts? I would have to unequip this before it'll let me equip that. But 
guess I would drop this, equip that, and then I would grab the items back out of this. That that a storm noise? It looks like right there there's something. I think that's lights on top of a tower. Hmm. Yeah, so I think that's how I'd have to do it. So it would be drop you, equip you. I got this grid now and go here. Oops. Oh, we can pick up backpacks and backpacks. Interesting. <coughs> Vicinity. How do I get my items out of it? <laughs> huh. Ah, there we go. But then... All right, now I'm confused. What the hell? Oh boy. <laughs> I'm hitting escape and it's just bouncing between these two screens. Uh, how do I escape from this menu? <laughs> uh... Tab just does that. Escape does that. Inventory does that. <laughs> what the hell? I am trapped in some goofy menu system. If I grab that, can I escape? No. Still can't get out of this screen. Weird. Weird. I think, <laughs> I think we're screwed. Uh... Hmm. <laughs> oh man. Wow. Can't think of any other combo to do. I just can't get out of the menus. Escape tab and inventory. They all do the same thing. I mean, map will bring the map up. Jay will bring the journal up, but it doesn't get me out of this. Can I walk away? I don't know, maybe if I can figure out. <laughs> so we're downstairs. I just can't figure out a way of getting this menu to go away. I can't click on loot vicinity, for example. I can do it on this screen, but I can't do it here. We're trapped inside the bag within a bag inventory screen. It's showing me the inventory inside that other bag that I'm not even carrying anymore. Yeah, I think we're done. I think we're going to have to re we're going to have to restart. I can't even get to the escape menu. I can't even close or go anywhere. I'm going to have to kill the client. Ah, early access. Hmm. I can't think of anything else I can do. I can't drop the old bag. That's the problem. <laughs> I mean, let's try dropping that one. Now that's also on the ground. But it still doesn't get me out of this earlier bag. I mean, it's still showing this screen, which is the contents of the yellow bag, the original bag that's currently sitting up inside the building, wherever the building went, over there. So I now have no bags in my inventory. Well, it says I have this backpack, but I can't... It shows it on this screen, but I can't interact with this screen. The screen shouldn't be open right now. That's the whole point. I can't point at anything. I can't interact with anything. I can't choose any tabs. So this window just won't close. I can't get it to go away. Yeah, we're done. <laughs> Alt F4 for the victory. Okay. We've got to be careful not to do bag in bag action, apparently. I did it. I did it wrong. 
Oh, unskippable cutscenes that take up my entire monitor and don't obey the resolution <laughs> limits that I set for the window mode I'm supposed to be in. Oof. World containers you loot items from do not save player placed items. Got it. Don't stick your stuff in a random bag you see on the on the on the side of the road. Uh, I think we're just gonna go new. We'll start fresh. Chalk that up to a learning experience. Does it list a load screen? Apparently, we did not get any auto saves or anything. Create our quick save creates a new slot. Auto slave creates a new slot. Yes, I thought we had it turned on. Gameplay auto save enabled. Oh nope, never mind. It's not enabled. Um, let's go ahead and enable that. I don't want to fiddle with too many things until I get the basics figured out so I understand what the consequences of my choices are. So let's leave the rest of that alone. Go new. I'm assuming we're going to start in a random position, not the same spot every time, because that would be boring. Uh, you know, I don't really care. Continue. No autosave. Permadeath. Standard difficulty. Bag and bag action banned since D&D. It wasn't banned. You just blew up. <laughs> put, your, put your bag of holding inside of your portable hole was a bad thing. Unless you wanted to go out in a heroic sacrifice. <laughs> At least that's my memory of the old bag of holding inside a portable hole. All right, we got a farmhouse. We got at least one zombie. Let's get our knife equipped. Keep our bandage. Uh, let's go uh, stab ineffectually with our knife. Ah, two zombies. That guy's got some detection on him. Ah, damn it. I knew when he got that arm up, I wasn't quite going to manage to finish that. Dude radiated me? Or is radioactive? I'm not sure which. Oh man, that was terrible. See, we got the uh, we got the nameplate and the hit point thing back again. I mean, I'll take a kukri, sure. Thirty-one and four, fifteen, fifteen. Definitely. Two hits, though, with the first two zombies. That, uh, so far, has just given us metal. We'll keep trying. <laughs> metal. I pooped out some metal. We need uh, some carry capacity. Got to keep it held down. Uh, five by four. I assume it's going to take that with it. Let's pull this stuff out. Unequip it. Apparently I can't equip this. Uh, wait. Yeah, I can't equip this. Common wallet key. Oh, key card briefcase. Oh, never mind. Storage size 5 by 4 though. Why does it have a storage size if I am not allowed to equip it? What's the point of that? Huh. Okay, guess we'll stick with that then. Common pants with pockets. Mm -hmm. 
Fighting for beginners. Respirator. Nine mil rounds. Batteries. Money pouch. Which I again can't equip. Does it actually hold anything? Hmm. <laughs> Toilet paper. Fancy. First aid kit. Tent to store items in. I got no space. I can't equip it. That's it. We're going to have to leave the tent behind. Or... Nah, I can't even put it in my inventory. It's three by three. Alright, well... Um, what did we pick up? Come here, you. Go that way. And uh, nah, stay that way. Better hold that to remove bleed. We need rags to make bandages, to make antiseptic, which I might be able to cobble together. Hey, you rip that up. That gives us the cloth. So we've got cloth and antiseptic and a knife. So if we go crafting, bandages. We do rags. We've only got one. We make rags. Craft. Then. Uh, three rags. Oh, it, never mind. I keep thinking red color means it's not going to craft. That's It's a blocker to crafting, but that's not what's happening. They're actually colored red. <laughs> craft. Okay, we have uh, some bandages. 30 health. Um, I should, I should quick slot those, right? So I'm going to assume... I still don't understand why these things have storage limits when I can't equip them to actually put specific things in them. Unless I have to... No, there's no equip option. So unless money goes in there automatically, but if that happens, you can't see the slots it's filling. I, I don't understand. <laughs> I just don't understand. That makes no sense to me. Whatever. Let's keep moving. Nice looking truck. I think that's the gas station we were at before, right? With the helicopter back in the valley over there. This looks like the same area. And maybe not. F, get in utility truck. 20% fuel, 46% health. Open storage. All right, look at that. At 81 out of 175 repair. Storage! Now I gotta run back and get the tent. Hey, what the hell? Oh, that's the crafting school. Um, I mean, yeah, keep that. Kinda need to keep the little things. I just need a backpack. Be like this. So it did put the money in there, but I, don't, I didn't see. Did the price go up to show there's money in there? Oh, you can actually open it. All right, that's fine, I guess. Now I understand. Um, I don't want to use the truck and the fuel yet. Let's check the building here. 
And then I might make the run back to get the tent if we've got a truck. That way we can deploy somewhere and have storage in addition. Well, hello there, duffel bag. Store your gym equipment. Five by seven. Backpack. Oh, that is so much nicer. Whoa. <laughs> yep, that's a backpack, all right. Okay, oh God, the dreaded ladder. This is a much safer one to practice ladder mechanics with, at least, <laughs> instead of going up the top of a water tower. So you're not going to automatically engage? I can't jump? Is this a non-functional ladder? Because that seems weird. The F interact key doesn't do anything. Roll doesn't do anything. Huh. Alright, I guess this is a, uh, is a visual ladder. That looks like a uh, cargo plane went down. Huh. Okay, um, options have improved quite a bit. So food and water is going to be our priority now. We've got storage. We don't have any guns yet. We've got the respirator, but we don't have any filters for it. we got some meds. Um, I'm going to go back and get that tent. Because when it gets dark, we I, I hope you can sleep in the tent. It just mentions storage. I would hope it's also a sleep respawn point. You have to have the um, sleeping bag to get that portion. I'm not sure I enjoy that. Saving game. Game saved. Look at that. Seems like a pretty lucky start so far. Now that we have storage, let's rip this stuff up. To the truck. <laughs> yeah, what do you do at night if you can't pass time sleeping? That seems like an awful long time to be in pitch black. some storage or have some stuff so it's stacked to 18 but it's stacked individually in my duffel bag i guess i could have manually checked hmm. all right awesome now that we have the duffel bag let's make what is nine being reserved for <laughs> it won't let me put these into nine why all right whatever it must have acceptable slots for certain item types. Let's switch this around. Let's make you... Whoops. This won't go into eight either. All right, game. I don't like it when you do that kind of enforcement. That's weird. All right, whatever. Uh, so still not sure where we're at. So we don't have our compass. We've got a gas station back that way. Zombies. Um, and we got some kind of structure up that way. I have no idea how long the vehicle might last with the uh, gasoline that's in it. I think I'm going to go back this way and we'll search that building and see if we can get some gas or something to repair this a bit. Or we try to use it. So, do I fight zombies, or do I just lead zombies away and then loot back and try to loot? I think I fight some zombies. I need some fight zombies practice. Not that there's a lot of skill involved with just clicking the mouse, but... 
Where's Zombie? Whoops. Why do I think I'm going to get ratted from that guy? Radiated undead. Holy crap, he took a lot of hits. I really wish he hadn't gotten that swing in at the end there. Great. Graying out my world? Or is this just fog rolling in? <laughs> I hate when they change the color palette due to wounds. That is so silly. It looks radiated again. It is radiated. Dang it. This place had the back entrance. Maybe we'll try that. Use one of our precious bandages. This looks more like fog. I think this is a fog effect. Oh, no back entrance this time. Different location. Um... Given their sight ranges, this fog is actually a bit impactful. Radiated undead again. Hmm. I got no filters for this thing. Radiation protection 99%. Filter required. Civilian CBRN mask. Crap! Keep getting that second hit in, or that second swing. And these guys are beefy. Well, that's definitely a larger place to go. Too many guys over here. I see at least four. One, two, three, four. Undead, radiated, radiated, and I can't quite see the last one. And it is uh, 1,500 already. I think I need to go experiment with that uh, tent and see if it actually lets me sleep or not before it gets dark. So we have a flashlight and a few batteries. So we do that. It doesn't actually give me any info on it. Wow, there we go, 100%. Okay. Whip. Goes into the tool category, which goes via this menu. Oof. Oh, yeah, that's going to save me at night, all right. <laughs> wow. All right, we'll wait till nighttime and see how bad that is. We found no food or water yet, either. Come here, tent. We just park right here on the on the sidewalk. Interact and pick up, huh? All it does is hold items. It's a loot container. Huh. That does not help me. I'm doing that. Well, what to do? I'm gonna run out of meds. We can't sleep.
wire cutters. Nope. Oh crap. This guy while he's trapped. Hey! <laughs> Not quite. Alright, let's take this one first. They don't like cars. Hey! Damn it! Can't seem to stop him from getting that one blow in in the middle there. Uh, let's do another of those. I think there's one more over right there. Yep. That one's just an undead shambler, though. No all right. power left for any special anniversary message. Just a huge thanks for all the content. All right, I need some stuff, please. I put a lot of resource effort into here. <laughs> Golf club, twenty-five and four, huh? Uh, we'll take the lock picks, <laughs> furniture to sit on, tape measure, useless junk. I'm not going to carry stuff to sell right now. We're not worried about that. No, no, Oop, trash. Holy crap. Hey, vehicle repair kit. Nice. Catch bears. <laughs> Another battery. Ooh, fire axe. Fire axe. The weapon of choice for zombie apocalypse apocalypse survivors everywhere. Oh, that's a fancy modded one. <laughs> Common melee. Fireman's axe. Damage 35. Stamina drain 4. 16% for 20%. See, that's a little better. Can harvest trees. Definitely taking it. And the equipment. Hold you. Still no food or water, though. Hockey mask. Hmm. This Canada? Um, don't care about any of that. Zombies lurking up here. Break into the locker. You need bolt cutters. Well, that's not fair. I want the fancy stuff. Your defenders. Ah, we can't get to the good stuff. I think that's it. Hey, Shambler, get over here. I need to know how fast this axe swings. Another test of the uh, sneak up on zombies thing. Hmm. 
Mm, seemed to work. This is still a big problem. What am I going to do for the entire night <laughs> without being able to sleep? Uh, it is 7 o'clock, 1906. I really don't want to start into a town in the dark. Although, who knows? Maybe this is prime raiding time. Night raids versus day raids. You know, the eternal question in Cataclysm. Which is better? Oh, I can't see. I can't see nothing. the first swing and it really hurt me because I did. Well, we got water. Thirst of 18, huh? How is this not chunky? <laughs> exactly. At least these guys are having footsteps, unlike those ninja zombies we had earlier. So, is their nighttime vision range lowered? Sure seems like it, because he's facing me. <laughs> he's he's pivoting towards me. <laughs> I don't know what the deal is there. He's stuck behind the garbage. I think he's stuck behind the garbage pile. Do I have any reach advantage with this axe? Five ACP. Yummy. I'll be pretty happy if it's got at least some detection mechanics and line of sight, vision range mechanics. It's got some obvious shortcomings and pathing and all that, but you know, if I can at least have some uh, fun sneaking around in the dark and either avoiding them or getting some, some nice hits on them in the dark. And the sound is behaving a little better. I'm actually hearing them this time. I wonder if it depends on what kind of surface they're walking on or what, what controls that. How is the battery doing in the uh, flashlight? 81 already. All right, so I need to get a feel for just how fast things like that go away. Luggage. I don't care about any of that. Empty back room, I think. Don't like having the open door behind me. 
Finally, food and a cleaver. I'm going to not worry about the cleaver. Wow, barricaded metal door, buildable. More antiseptic is good. A rare rider jacket, Negan. <laughs> I see. That's how we're going. Goodbye, black shirt. We're going Negan. Five by one storage. Now, I'm interested that we have things like barricaded metal doors that are buildable. Metal scrap door used to keep the bad people out. Cool. So we got item rarity. We got, uh, I don't know how intricate the crafting is going to get, but. Uh... Ah, I missed it again. We got the stun. I think we had knockback on that too. It'd be interesting if that's an actual mechanic. We are definitely getting stuns if I time it right, but I keep missing that first swing. I expect the axe to have a little more reach than it's apparently got, and <laughs> so I keep paying for it. I'm at 48% health, huh? Well, that happens when I turn this off. It gets stupid dark. Lunchbox storage for food and drink, six by four. Okay, more water. Starting to get a little full. Might be time for a trip back to the truck after we do this room. Days survived two. Does that mean it's like 6 a.m. or something already? Nope. Oh, midnight. It counted it for midnight. All right. Well, that was a fairly interesting trip. I'm going to save my battery while we run. Sorry for the dark visuals. <laughs> I do like a game that treats dark as, you know, dark. But it does make it rough for folks watching live streams. I don't like when dark equals dark, but then, like... You, you light a campfire and it lights up like six inches of light around the campfire. That kind of annoys me. So it needs to be a balance of good dark plus decent light when you can get it. Open storage, please. So let's do this. Let's go to this side. We're supposed to be able to fuel it up from here right there. Uh, why do I not have the refuel option? Where are you, refuel option? Well, we have a utility truck. It's not letting me refuel. I have fuel in my hand or in my inventory. Hmm. I'm only getting these two. Hmm. Ah, never mind. I just have to interact. It doesn't tell you there's an interact point. Just got to press and hold. So that should fully repair, I believe. Yep, fully repaired. And then over here, we just press and hold to refill. All right. Already forgot my tutorial info. <clears throat> so now, now we've got some pretty good options. And that fully refueled us. Cool. All right. So back to storage. Hold on to these for me, please. Uh, we got wire cutters, the can opener. Let's ditch the kukri. The axe is doing well. We'll keep a can opener for me to pop open canned food. Stockpile two. We'll drink or eat and drink one. 
I need my bandages with my antiseptic, or my cloth with my antiseptic, so we can do crafting of that. Uh, that's right, I need rags. Give me rags. All right. Oh, I need two antiseptic. Really? I didn't realize that. Never mind then. Guess we'll save these. We're at 34 and 37. So if we eat a can of beans, only took us to 53. Hmm. 62. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to figure out how to source food and water. Eighty-eight, but I got no more hydration. Can you use these? Still got some beans in it. No, it don't. <laughs> I cleaned it out. Vehicle storage is already getting a little full. Oh, that's right. I had my lunchbox. I forgot to fill up. I think I'm going to ditch the knife. Okay, 3.30, couple more hours. What to do next? Guess head back into town, or do we wait for, for light? Where was, oh yeah, journal. No skill points to spend yet. We're making progress on toughness, strength, and some fitness. Everything's still level one. No quests other than go to the valley safe zone. Okay. Where would it be? <laughs> I don't have the faintest idea. So escape closes the map, but it won't close the journal. <laughs> I hate inconsistent. Don't like inconsistent interfaces. Are there gamma settings? I'm sure there are. I never fiddle with them. I don't, uh, I mean, I like dark. I, I, I want games to have a good blend of light visuals and dark visuals for day night. Night should be hard to move around in. Cranking up the uh, the settings and the gamma is literally cheating. You're a cheater. So, you know, <laughs> don't do it. What's the point? You want to make the game harder, not easier. But yeah, I mean, for you guys... You want to see what's going on, but uh, I want it to be hard. All right, so I don't know if enemies respawn, or do I permanently clear areas, or if I save and reload, will this whole spot here be repopulated again? I really need to investigate that. Uh, let's let's investigate that before it gets dark, or before it gets light. I mean, let's. Uh, Answer some game mechanics questions. We'll just go back to the vehicle. I'll make a manual save and we'll reload and we'll see if the zombies show up there again. And the loot. I'm interested to know if the loot respawns on a load. I think it might. So if we go save, those are all auto saves. V1. Save game. Yes. We don't have a load option here. Quit the main menu. All right. 
food. B1, food. Oh, oh, hey, <laughs> now that's kind of rude. <laughs> Radiated zombies, save me. I think these bandits are as fast as me. <laughs> I assume they're bandits. Well, that answers that question. <laughs> that's funny. Reload, and all of a sudden, you got a huge pile of bandits right on top of you. Yeah, see, this I don't like. This is my definition of not good. It's, I mean, a flashlight that shines a light just like a few feet in front of you. Uh, banditos right next to my truck. And all the zombies respawn, so apparently the whole world basically resets its conditions. It just saves your location. And probably any placed items and things that, like it mentioned workbenches and stuff, preventing respawn in a radius. So that's probably how you prevent exactly what happened right there, is you, you actually get a base or something set up, or you drop an item that prevents respawn in the nearby area. The downside is that's easily cheesable with, uh, you know, saving and reloading to respawn all the loot and... Who the hell's shooting at me? Or shooting, they're not shooting at me. Oh, <laughs> he is shooting at me. Are you going to approach so I can chop you up with my axe from point blank range? Or are you just going to circle around at range? I want to know how the AI behavior works. Can I sneak up on him with my axe? And how much is it going to hurt when that guy actually uh, hits me with that thing? Playing geometry games. Right, I'm going for it. Ow! <laughs> we we survived, but man, did he hit hard! And I don't get any of the stuff. None of the stuff. Oh man, that guy had a gun. He had all sorts of stuff. But the random loot said, "Nope, you get none of it." So they don't drop stuff that they appear to be using. Lesson learned. We got another gun-toting guy over there, right next to my truck. Hmm. Interesting. Got baseball bat. Ranch gunpowder. Uh, I'm not going to take any of those over my, my axe. I got no choice but to use my good medicine. But uh, fighting this guy is going to be a losing proposition if it's just going to randomize his loot. Unless he's got a higher chance to drop weaponry and stuff. I need a, I need a gun of my own. wonder just how small a tree I can hide behind. Can I run him over in my truck? You shooting zombies now? Does he prioritize zombies or players? Is it actually hitting them? Yeah, yeah, it's actually hitting them. <laughs> I wonder if I got uh, some kind of sneak attack bonus or something. Damn it! <laughs> That's downright, downright rude. I get nothing again. 
I do like that they interact with the zombies, and he was he was doing some work killing zombies. What is going on over there? I don't. I can't tell if that's zombies fighting each other, or if there's a survivor or a bandit in there in that mix. Like three, four zombies around that spot. Uh, excuse me. Okay, so we got some idea what's going on now. Unfortunately, the town has restocked. I think I'm going to hop in the truck. Let's let's play truck games for a little bit. Need to get a feel for the mechanics and how these things work. Maybe do some map travel. And I don't know if I'm protected while in the truck or if I can take damage. If I can run things over. Utility truck. So I see damage status and uh, gas down on the bottom right. Ooh, it is not speedy. Or agile. <laughs> Radiated. So it looks like there's cargo to the backside. There's a cargo and a cargo. That we've kind of seen buildings like that before. So I wonder if you can do the Pied Piper with the vehicles like I've done in Cataclysm just to draw things away from the uh, the loot containers. I need to run into one of these and see what it does. And it does kill them. That's interesting. Does it matter what speed you're at when you do it? Apparently not. We are losing durability at a fairly quick rate. Oh yeah. Alright, so that's the limiter. It's just how much you're going to kill. I think it's worth it for this spot. What the hell? <laughs> he has magical car dodging ability. Alright, get far enough away that I can complete my loop. Hey buddy. How do you keep dodging me? I can't seem to kill this guy with that. Fine. Do it the old-fashioned way. Well, I mean, it looks more impressive than it is. There's the repair, so that made it worthwhile. Tool cabinet, buildable. Bling backpack, but it's only a 5x5. Five five. Our duffel bag's a 5x7. Yeah, we can't equip it. Hmm. I don't know if there's a benefit to uh, taking that. Are we randomly? Oh, apparently it's not just random getting loot destroyed. It's just the random thing telling us you don't get any. All right. And this one. Oh, hi there. <laughs> Where the hell did you come from? Hiding around the corner. All right. I want one of you to come around the corner, not both of you. There we go. I just need to get a little bit of distance. Do, 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 do. Cash money. Oh, is that little post going to block you? A lot of flashlights. Ammo container. All right, some five, five, six. Ah, dang it, that guy's gonna detect me when I try. Oh, we might get both of them. I think looting is loud activity. Yeah, we are definitely getting some knockback. Where are you? Ooh, 
Kukri. All right, I want the pallet. Lead hammer, police baton, that. Rope's probably going to be useful. Technique is key for a good swing. 38 and 8. Ouch. I'll take my 35 and 4, thanks. A terrible ratio combination. 26 and 3. I don't know if they have other literal stats like range, knockback, swing speed. I, I don't know yet. I don't think they're telling me the whole story. I might have to take a sledgehammer sometime just to uh, test out the differences. But we're already getting close to over, over storage. I don't think I can afford to take this with me. Yeah, we're going to drop that. Um, 63%. Huh? All right. Yeah, we need to figure out some better hydration solutions. These are individual and don't stack. Okay, I guess we'll look at this while we're here. I see an ambulance. Hmm. I'm stealth crouching. It's a little tricky in the uh, the keyboard work to <laughs> to do that. All right, so we gotta hop in past this guy. These folks. Whoa! He almost got that swing off. No interaction. That guy's not stuck outside. Not stuck outside. Hmm, she was packed. Not interactable. I don't think any of these vehicles are interactable. battery used in cars Come to drink, please. Energy bar. <laughs> what is that thing? Survival backpack damaged. Five by six. Frying pan. Cook and deflect bullets. 
Do you need it to cook food, or is it literally just a little kind of a joke item slash melee weapon? Well, I'm not switching out of my storage, my, my duffel bag with its nice open storage area. Although that's pretty good too. It's not divided up into a bunch of little ones, but yeah, let's leave this behind too. I'm not going to bother with these. Next floor. I haven't yet seen zombies inside the buildings, just out in front. I don't know if we're going to get that eventually. I imagine they'll chase you in if they detect you, but six by six. That's one point better. Military backpack. Ooh, hunting hatchet. 28 and 3 can hit trees. I'll keep my 35 and 4, thanks. There's the bolt cutters we needed. Too bad that loot is probably gone now. Yeah, now I got to be careful because we got into problems last time with the backpack game. Okay, nothing else, nothing else. Can I chop my way through here. Nope. All right. I think that's it, other than the ambulance, which we hopefully can loot. Maybe not. Unfortunate. I got excited about seeing an ambulance. Still a big hydration problem. Now a storage problem too. Uh, let's see, give me that. All right, so let's make a save. I'm worried if I drop a backpack to try to test this and I have to reload that the backpack I drop is going to just disappear. I don't know if that happens. New save. So what's the best way to try to go about this? I can't just equip it. If we drop it, I don't have access to the inventory slots through this. I don't have the actual interior showing. This just shows the vicinity of stuff. I drop that. Now I've got them both sitting here. And I can't right click to open them. Guess I can. That's right. I guess I am only holding three items in the duffel bag currently. Forgot about that part. We could just do this. Duffel bag's empty. 
Drop it. Pick it up. All right. So yeah, I'll, I'll take the six by six instead of the seven by five. Do we try to keep it though? I don't know if I need a second one. Still not sure what kind of mechanics I'm going to play with. We keep playing. Uh, it'll be permadeath. So, I mean, if I die, I don't care because <laughs> we're starting fresh. So I don't really need backups in case I, I can't do loot runs and stuff in permadeath mode. So and there's no durability I'm aware of for things wearing out. So I guess I'll just leave the duffel bag. Takes up less slots and has more space. Uh, it's not probably not going to persist anyway. So, all right. Time is it? Fourteen hundred, and we have not solved our water problem. Gas station is pretty familiar. <laughs> Have to follow up the swings. You gotta swing and move forward, swing and move forward, because it pushes them back on some of the hits. I'm still a little fuzzy on how best to deal with the crawlers. They seem to be a little hard to hit. Crouch? Maybe that's the trick to these guys. Yep, that's the trick. <laughs> you crouch fight those guys. All right. Uh, come here, you. Oh, still tricky to hit. <laughs> the hitbox is weird. Uh, one more. More practice. Hitbox is weird. Radiated in course. Whoa. Damn it. Oh, this guy's fast. Start swinging. <laughs> He's too fast. Uh, that guy was absurdly fast. I didn't know we had runner zombies. Fence buildable. You got more gas than I can use, and it takes up too much space. Water. Not enough, though. We need more. Figure out how to source it. It's nothing. Uh, 
Um, pull up. We'll get rid of that. And I can't think when I'm going to use this. So get rid of that too. I'm still looking for a button that I can press that auto sorts stuff and fills in gaps so I don't have to manually move things around to play Tetris. I'm not a big fan of inventory Tetris as a gameplay mechanic. Low health, and I can't do much about it. That looks like a bandit roadblock. Guy's weaving around like a zombie, though. I think, whoa, I didn't know there was two of them. Whoa, that was close. Plus a house right here I didn't even see on my way by. <laughs> I don't know if they're immune or if they're taking damage a little bit each pass or what. It's kind of weird. Some of them I can run over, some of them just do this nonsense. I don't know if it's particular ones or a random. All right, let's drive over to the back side of the house. And then we'll see if we can get to the, uh, the... Whoops. See if we can get to the car that was in the roadblock. Well, that's not too exciting. House with nothing in it. Okay. An empty water canteen. Sounds useful for our current problem. Another tent to store items. Don't care. So... Okay, where do I find a water source? Well, there's the sleeping bag for us to get through the night, finally. Classic 308 hunting rifle. <laughs> School backpack. 4x5. That's not going to carry my chemistry books. Big enough. Okay, so... Got a campfire going next to that campsite. I see zombies, or is that bandits slash hunters? They're not moving like zombies. They're not zombies. They probably got guns. I got no health.
it. Do another bandage. Does it craft from any of my inventory? Nope. Heck, can I not use bandages like one after another? No, well, the hotkey wasn't working. Are you friendly? You haven't started shooting me yet. Hi. Can we chat? No interact option? Can I steal your stuff? Hmm. I don't know. I'm not going to mess with them. So, yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, if I pick this up and I place it, does that do the spawn point thing? So, build, stop, rotate, snap, build to ground, reset, snap. Who care? So, we have it placed. I don't see any way of telling if it's doing any kind of respawn protection mechanic. Let's grab the uh, sleeping bag. <laughs> Interesting lighting. There's there's a sweet spot here apparently. Come on. Why the hell does it turn green when I move? But then as soon as I stop moving, it is no longer green and I can't place it. <laughs> I move and it goes green. Oh, there we go. Weirdly finicky. Spawn point set. Uh, is it dark enough yet? 1943. I don't know if this means sleep or I changed my mind or if this is some weird horde mode or, or what. Now I just want to sleep. I'm not sure we lose hydration or anything while we sleep. All right, uh, so we barely used any of the fuel. Don't have another repair kit. I guess we'll take it with us for the moment until I need space, and then we'll ditch it. Oh, well, now. <laughs> All right, let's get moving. Got to figure out this water thing. I gotta learn to identify which bill which vehicles are lootable. Alright, this looks like a fun place. You're not cooperating, zombie. No, oh, now, now, that's rude. Let's hang you up on a vehicle. One of you is allowed. Oh, we didn't get the double hit. I was expecting the double hit. I wasn't sure if you could hit multiples, and I'm still not sure after that. All right, this is all non-interactable. Mm 
Whoops. Whoops. Back to the vehicle. Running out of stamina. <laughs> the old running out of stamina problem. Hey, no, don't refill the vehicle, you idiot. <laughs> Can't, can't run anymore. Just get in the vehicle. <laughs> what is that noise? Jet. Every time I get out of the vehicle, I have to re-equip the weapon. I almost went into that fight without grabbing the weapon out. All right, more antiseptics, so we can at least fix ourselves up. Yeah, I don't need that. And yeah, that did not go well. <laughs> Four percent water. Dang it. We're going to die. <laughs> All my bandages. <laughs> All right. Uh, we still haven't fully cleared down there yet, I don't think, but let's check the house first. I haven't seen any interactable. Oh, there we go. Lock door. Advanced lock. Unlock lock pick skill to pick lock. All right. We don't have the skill for that. First time I've seen one of those kinds of buildings. Unfortunate. I have no idea. First time I've played. We're exploring the mechanics as we go. Let's hope we get some hydration in here. <laughs> We're taking steady damage. I guess that's what zero hydration does. That's not going to help. 25. What are we losing? Like 5% of the time? I mean, food's great in all game, but... <laughs> We're not dying of food. Uh, well, it looks like we'll be dying. Yeah, no water. Use it! Ah! <laughs> I was so close! Uh. <laughs> I was like a quarter second away from clicking on it. That's funny. <clears throat> so, let's see. When I hit spawn point, we'll be down the road without all of our stuff. 
So theoretically, we can go back to where we just were. Hey, it's raining. Can I hydrate? And all the zombies are back, and I don't have my gear. So that's going to be the problem if you do the respawn stuff without permadeath. you got to re-clear it to get back to your corpse. Yeah, there's no knockback at all with this. Death location. Yeah, they, they don't budge an inch. The axe, I'm getting knockback, so there are other factors in the weapons that it doesn't report in the inspection screen. <laughs> uh, was an accidental button press. <laughs> eh, water, is of course. These are my corpses from earlier, right? Grab and equip all button. Uh-uh, I took the gun. You don't have that stuff. Four CQB close quarters battle variant of the M4A1 rifle. Five five six. But so far, none of the weapons have actually come with uh, <laughs> magazines. A riot helmet, four percent protection. A cog, four by thirty-two. Weapon drum for 762. Body armor. Cool. <laughs> the good old PU scope. 
Another duffel bag, a patrol backpack, 5x5 five five damaged, and oh my god, the M249. Damaged primary. Guess that's why we have the, uh, the 762 drum. Oh, nope, that's 556. Five Effective range, 175 meters. Effective range, 175 meters. Uh, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Both 5.56. Five, Don't care about the backpacks. 7 times 6 is 36. 6 times... No, 7 times 6 is 42. 6 times 6 is 36. So that's actually a better one, huh? Uh, we get to play backpack, backpack, the backpack bingo again. All right, throw that into secondary. Um, wrong option. What are we going to do here? Too much gasoline. If I need to keep these things. Oh, wait. Holy crap! Is that an option because it's raining? <laughs> Dirty water. Expensive tap water. Uh, I don't have the tent anymore, so no, I can't. And the tent is just something I would put stuff into and then have to pull it back out again as I'm on the move in the truck. We're moving. We're, we're traveling light. Uh, I think I'm going to get rid of the crafting materials too for now. We'll investigate that a little later. Got to keep sleeping bag. Not sure I need food cans. I don't know if you can refill these or use them in some way. But now they're going away. I think I might get rid of this keycard briefcase too. Taking up too much space. Dirty water canteen, natural water. Dirty water bottle, natural water. So, is it the container that's dirty? <laughs> or is it the water inside that's dirty? I'm a little confused. What is the intent here? I think I need to make a campfire. And see if we can boil water or something. Problem being... I need wood and stone. Other than finding it like that. 
I'm not sure where to get it. I'm not done here yet. Now we could go play backpack bingo. <laughs> nope. Alright, so let's see. Thing I have in the backpack. I can't drop into the vicinity. Fine. Drop. 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 All right, scavenger backpack. Anything else? Unfortunately, it's the wrong magazine for any of the weapons we've got. still when you're searching otherwise it keeps interrupting water criminal mastermind increase your ability in thief by 250 xp it's angling for beginners I haven't done any fishing yet really wait did we get the mark apparently not huh. one lootable one not that seems a little odd all right, so done that, done that, done that. This may or may not be clear. More gas. I'm not going to bother with right now. Fencing, a wrench, planks. And again, now that one's not lootable. Medical! What you got for me? <laughs> One antiseptic and a splint. And blocked. Alright. So we're done in this little area. Well, hi there. Problem is going to be stone. How do I get stone? I wouldn't think... Visually, I wouldn't have thought this one was going to be searchable. I would have passed it by. Are there materials I can... Uh, smash? Disassemble? So that stone right there is one of the interactable stones we can get stone from, but I suspect you need a pickaxe. And I don't have pickaxe as a crafting option. I don't know how to get it as a crafting option. Need a pickaxe, ice axe or shovel. I want one of these. Although it probably doesn't have a good storage is what we've got. Uh, so far, all we've gotten is metal out of the salvaging, but we'll do another one just to check. Uh, 
Yeah, metal again. Alright. Well, huh. But how do you even get a basic campfire? That seems a little weird. Can I pick up stones I see on the ground? I don't think I've seen anything that looked like a pick upable stone. Hmm. Like, do I need to hop out and look at every single vehicle? One, two, three, four for a single house. Let's keep moving. Open storage, a buggy. I guess it says zero item in storage. <laughs> Body truck and a buggy. So we're finding a f fair number of um, usable vehicles you can just hop into. You guys got the pickaxes here? Is this the pickaxe farm? Septic and bullets. I like it. <laughs> I'm not climbing up there again. <laughs> I learned that lesson. Zombies over there chomping on deer, and deer's just ignoring the fact. All of a sudden, we're finding water all over the place. Uh huh. All right, you're freaking me out. Stop it. <laughs> I 
their fire axe. Yeah, go away. Your noises are bugging me. Whoa, what is that? Generator, briefcase, scrap. Can get all that fairly easily. Don't need another fire axe. Nothing there. Toolbox, storage for crafting materials. Okay. Not letting me click to transfer batteries for some reason. Everything else I can control click and it transfers, but for some reason the batteries don't go. Okay, nothing up there. Lighting's getting a little weird. Well, we got some pretty good stuff. Keep forgetting to move the selector down. All right, so crafting material supposedly goes into this box. So we have boxes, whoops, boxes inside boxes. It won't take beans. It won't take beans. Uh, I'm not really holding any other crafting materials, I don't think. You count. Whoops. Yep, you do count. Cool. I think the trick might be just to get the right container combinations. And you can keep expanding your inventory by having a box within a bag. <laughs> Items in a box, which is in a bag. And magically increase your carry capacity, apparently. Uh, what else is going to go in here? You're going to go in here. Will the tools cabinet? It will not. That I got a place. I can probably fit my food and water in the lunchbox. So it's color coding the item types. That's what I need to pay attention to. What? <laughs> Remember how we didn't have any water previously? I mean, some of this, half of this is dirty water that we have to figure out how to deal with, but. All right, so we've got toolbox, lunchbox, for our crafting materials. I need to get this raw meat. It's got to be cooking over fire, I'm sure. Medical gear. Uh, we'll do you up there. My pouch. Okay, well, I cleaned things up a fair bit, so boxes within bags. Getting dark. Still don't know if it's dangerous just to drop a sleeping bag and take a nap. Well, we gotta find the magic pixel spot again. What's the problem? Guess it has to be pretty flat. So what's our <laughs> what's our uh, we're at thirty five food or thirty ninety seven and thirty five. I just want to know if. Uh, 
doing this. Nope. <laughs> That's a little weird too. That's kind of crazy. Sleeping over a period of time should lower food and water. All right. Well, we play what we're given. Stop doing that. Uh, give me rags. Go to crafting. You craft. Four bandages. All right, inventory's clear. Uh, now I need to figure out where we're at. And end up going back over territory I've ever cover already covered. I think we want to go this way. There's a lot of vehicles. Wow. Whoops. Contaminated FOB Alpha, and my truck just got stuck. <laughs> oh, come on, game. <laughs> it's it's hung up on that little thing right there. <laughs> uh, that's hilarious. Oh my god. Well, <laughs> okay, I know, I'm radiated. I'm out now. Stop hitting me. Nope, we're radiated and it's going to continue hitting me. All right. Um, we didn't do a save. I don't know when the last auto save hit or how that's going to work. I probably should have made a manual save after I slept before we moved. Just so we could keep moving. Now my exploration of the mechanics is kind of screwed because my truck is stuck. And all the stuff in the truck I can't get to because of the radiation. Hmm. 7%? You going to kill me? Yep. Going to kill me. So my respawn is near, but my truck and my gear is going to be over here still. Go back to the main menu, see what the last autosave load does. Still a little fuzzy on the mechanics of how they're doing things. Load. Autosave is the current save. Yep. Oh, yeah. There's two cars nearby. It's just inconvenient because all I'm really doing right now is kind of investigating. Um, all right. Well, that gets us back so we can keep our investigation going. Oh, that's right. It reloaded all the zombies. <laughs> How many? One move, one runner and three, three crawlers. That's inconvenient. Hmm. Wonder if I can just sleep. I'm gonna I'm gonna experiment. Let's see if it let me sleep even with the zombies right nearby and what happens. So sleep, sleep. Do they kill me? Nope, it just advances time with no effect on food, water, or nearby enemies. Alright. So let's just get them away from my stuff. I'll run by and grab it and then we'll just take off. Try to, anyway. Yeah, I didn't time that well. Try again.
All right. So it seems like object physics are going to be an ongoing issue. So we'll have to be careful to make... I don't know. It's going to depend on how often that kind of goofy stuff happens. Because if it's constant, it's going to make permadeath runs pretty annoying. So I'll probably have to set some personal rules for uh, what's acceptable. Permadeath versus, you know, brunken janky crap that I'm going to put up with. Uh, I still don't know where we are. I don't know how extensive the radiation is. If it's like everything south of here is radiated or whatever direction I'm going. Can we even tell? Is there sun? It seems brighter over there. And it's 7 in the morning. <laughs> so does that mean that's east? I can't really tell. Let's see if the radiation extends over this way. Or if it's just central to that little area. Whoa! What the hell was that? Looks like it's particular to that hazmat containment area. <laughs> Golden water. <laughs> Lettuce. Already got a lunchbox. Don't need a cleaver. Uh oh, an M9. Problem is, they keep giving me guns, but no magazines. Still haven't seen a zombie inside a building. It's just energy water. It is an energy drink. So 20 thirst and 30 energy, which I assume is uh, stamina or whatever they call, I guess they call the orange bar energy. It's the high quality H2O. Bobby Boucher approved. Well, the gun has zero out of zero. <laughs> uh, it's a nine mil. I mean, we'll go back and we'll try, but every gun I've seen so far, I haven't been able to load the gun directly. I've had to find a magazine. And we haven't found a magazine for a gun yet in the actual live play, but during the tutorial I did right before I went live, they showed that you had to load ammo into a magazine and then you drop the magazine onto the weapon to actually show it loaded. So... We'll check when we get uh, back to the vehicle.
Though the containers do seem to have categories of loot within them. Another sledge. Six by eight. I mean, six by eight's better than six by seven. We keep finding tiny, tiny incremental upgrades. <laughs> 42 to 48. So, I guess we do it this way. We transfer everything out. Then we say drop. They equip. We grab everything we want back again. That seems really slow in comparison. Yeah, I think there's a definite swing speed that that they're not telling you. All right, upstairs we go. Perch in the cupboards. Don't care. There's that M9 again. Damaged versus standard, so we'll drop you, take you. They're always unloaded. That one says 0 out of 18, so... Hmm. Already got the writer jacket. I think that's it. We got 45 and we got nine mil. So it's not letting me drag it directly onto the gun. That's what I expected. <laughs> That's what we tested earlier and it didn't work. So yeah, I don't know why the game's not giving me magazines. We're getting guns and bullets all over the place, but no magazines. So that is 556, five, which we have 556 five, ammo for. Same problem. Don't have any 308. But I'm not sure on that. Uh, let's pop open our lunchbox. Lunchbox is full. Guess we need to drink some water. I'm not sure what happens if you drink this. Oh, well, now I do. It says minus five health. <laughs> so you get the uh, the thirst, but at the cost of the health.
All right, uh, let's move on. Again, we're not getting the, uh, sometimes we get the little hut at the top that shows the name of the enemy and their health bar, but now we're not again. I don't know what's turning that on and off. It's like we only get irradiated if they actually land a blow. I hear somebody else nearby. Ah, right there. And right there. A famous. And again, no damn magazine, even though it shows one. That is annoying. Don't be showing me all these cool things, but not let me actually use the cool things. Bullets, planks, crap I don't care about, and another duffel bag. Hey, ammo container. Yep. There's some 308 rounds we can finally take a look at. And the vehicle itself is not searchable, just this stuff around it. All right. I pulled up a menu for a sec with a pistol that showed the mag. Uh, well, I mean, the graphics of the weapons show the mags there, but so far I haven't seen an actual or been able to interact with one. So which one are you referring to? So we have this pistol. If I go to inspect. Weapon attachment. Yeah. Oh, maybe I have to pull the, the magazine out. Now I'm confused. Yeah, now it says one out of 18. Weird. Okay. Uh, close. Nine mil. See, that works fine. Hmm. All right. And then we can put that back in. Then it's fully loaded and ready to go. So sidearm. Then the 308 should load straight in. Nope. You're going to tell me that has some kind of weird. That just fire from the inventory without needing to be loaded. Maybe that now it says zero out of six. Muzzle and sight slots. I don't get this one. <laughs> uh, let's go look at the M. 4CQB. So I've got to pull the mag out. That's weird. There's one bullet and then the magazine, but they're not loaded at the time. <laughs> uh, so... Cancel. Um, five, five, six rounds. Oops. So this one I can't figure out. We got nothing there. 
Maybe I just hit reload. Maybe if I just have it out and I say reload. Yeah, that's what it does. All right, so it just works a little differently. Four out of six, I think, is what it's reporting. And it does, it does a zoom, and then the mouse sensitivity drops significantly. Yeah. All right, that's not too bad. What else we got? We have an ACOG 4x32. Any weapon? Or does it have to have a sight attachment? This does have a sight location, so we'll do that. Nope. Oh, there we go. EU scope, put that on uh put that on the rifle. Doesn't go on that one apparently. And you're not telling me what it does go on. <laughs> How about the FAMAS? Nope, no scope on that one. No sight. I don't think we picked up any other mods. Yeah, I need a weapons rack now. All right, so we got some of that stuff figured out. Uh, let's see, two. What is this gonna look like? So is that scope actually changing things? All it's doing really is moving my view forward to about where my physical head is in the game world. <laughs> Unless there's another button I have to push. So if we uh, pull that back off again. It says it improves the vision. I wonder if it just gives you an accuracy bonus. I don't see any difference occurring there. use only for the motion yeah that's what i'm used to using it on from too much stalker gamma all right um let's keep moving i guess Oh, we're level three now. Did we, uh, do I have, do I have points to spend? I have points to spend. Health regen, one points. Health regeneration as long as your player is in good condition. Critical hitter, two points. Doubles chance of critical hits, melee and ranged. Distraction, whistle to distract enemies. Combat roll, player can combat roll out of, out of the way of incoming attacks. Demolition expert, explosives do more damage. That's the advanced lockpick for that building we couldn't get in previously. Parkour. While jumping, falling, and increased parkour speed. Night creature. Deal more melee damage at night. Deathbringer. Once each life, when health reaches zero, 15 health will be added to the player. <laughs> hmm. How would, I, how would I interpret that usage on a permadeath run? Fair or not fair? <laughs> in or out of bounds. Extra bag of meat from animal kills and double the amount of resources from harvestable nodes. Five points for a crafting guy, for a harvesting guy. Huh. Well, let's uh, let's do the lockpick thing, I think. I don't like not having access to stuff. Uh, how do I how do I pick it? <laughs> God damn it. Don't be firing the gun and moving when I'm in a goddamn interface window. <laughs> How do I pick it? I have three points. Oh, I have to. I think I have to do it in a chain. I can't just pick it. I have to go here and then here. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. Oh, or not. I can't pick that either. So do you have to do this first? Oh, yeah. That's been a point. That's been my two points. All right. So yeah, you got to do them in an order. All right, well, we got health regen and distraction. And one less bullet. All right, let's go get into some trouble. 
Getting stuff figured out. Right, first person for the scope. Uh, what was the key? Change the view mode. I don't remember. Where are you? T, change perspective. So. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> Scope zoom, middle mouse. All right. So I have to wait a minute. What the? <laughs> um, and that's middle mouse. If I have the weapon out, which I do have the weapon in my hands, so right click, middle mouse. Oh, oh my God. You gotta be kidding. How the hell? <laughs> I am confused. So right click middle mouse. Okay. Now I got it. <laughs> you got to hold right click, click middle mouse to go into zoom mode. It's not variable zoom or either. They don't have variable zoom in the game or this particular one doesn't have variable zoom, but then you get the zoomed in view and you can, you can not be doing the middle mouse so you can actually fire. So it's a right click, middle mouse, left click <laughs> in order to shoot something in the head from, from range. I don't see how I would be doing that too often without some kind of a long range rifle with a scope. For the hardcore permadeath run, perhaps first person mode exclusively. I mean, I don't know. I guess. I wouldn't be able to peek over fences then. You know, I'd lose a, a really important tactical advantage. No camera peeking over fences. All right, so that, that, and then start shooting. All right. We don't have much in the way of ammo yet, so... Well, I'd be a little picky on our chosen uh, shooting. House there, zombies on the road. Oh, church. Radiated area? Is that a bomb? <laughs> Is that like a gigantic nuclear warhead or something? <laughs> Is that fat man or little boy? It sure looks like that. I don't know their actual real world physical dimensions, but that seems large. It's a lot of zombies right there at that intersection. All right, let's see if noise does anything. Got a little bit of drop. 110, nobody reacted. Okay. Go with the nine mil, see how things work. Up close and personal. Got like a kind of a... Whoa, holy crap. Well, that got a little spicy. I don't know what category of animals we have. Are there like predators? It sure sounded like something different than the elk or the deer. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Animations take a while to switch weapons. I gotta take that into account. Where the hell did you come running from? Wow, the whole town showed up. Nope.
Apparently, the gunfire does. Pretty good job of attacking, attracting the zombies. charge through me. Alright, we'll come back for that in a second. 100 bucks for a common backpack 5x5, five five, huh? We haven't figured out uh, who or where to trade yet. All right, back to the little church. What time is it? Uh, info. 1800. Pickup truck, 19% fuel, 33 health, no items in storage. Okay. if the ruckus attracted everybody that's in the area. The hunting hatchet damaged. Nine mil ammo. A water jug. Big water jug. Wire. Another vehicle repair. Hmm. Interesting mix of things in there. Yeah, looks like everybody even over at the intersection came running. That's good to know. Go loud in a town, you're probably going to be in big trouble, which is good. I like that. Hey, Sue. Oop, hey, zombie. This is just going to be salvage. Yeah. Okay. I need to get me some NVGs so I can see how that situation works. But we still got to figure out how to purify water. I'm stumped a little bit on the uh, basic get a campfire going thing. Because we can't get stone, which we need for the campfire, without uh, a pickaxe. So how the hell do you get a pickaxe other than randomly? It just seems weird. Uh, let's see. Back to inventory Tetris. Um, I think I'm going to fix the vehicle up. Yeah. Wrong option again. Guess we'll just keep drinking. <laughs> Can't put tools in my toolbox. No tools in the toolbox. It shouldn't be called a toolbox. It should be called a crafting supply box. All right. Uh, we'll keep the rest. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do about these empties. We've got repair option on the vehicle. We've got gas. Uh, don't. Oh, I do have enough for, for another bandage. 
Crafting, bandage, yes. Three bandages. Health is okay. Water is a little low, but we've got... <laughs> we've got supplies for that. Let's go ahead and uh, camp for the night. I did have a bit of fun creeping in the dark through the town, but uh, with no consequence to fast-forwarding time with the sleeping, with no extra food or hydration loss or anything, I don't see the benefit currently. So we investigate the mechanics a little more and get used to uh, whether night raiding uh, locations like that is, is helpful. If their vision detection radius, which I don't have a good feel for yet, works. All right, so uh, place that spawn. Not giving me the set spawn option. Hmm. And this time we'll learn the lesson. We'll make a save. Where are you at? V1. Wow, is it just going to keep making new saves? It doesn't have a like a rotating 10 slot that it just does 10 and then overwrites the oldest one? Because if this is going to auto-save an individual slot forever, that's bad. That's not good. Don't do that. All right. Pick up. We're getting stuff figured out. Hey, um, <laughs> um, this is a wee bit harder. <laughs> All right, so we're in first person mode. What did I press to get me into first OT? All right. Oh, it gets in the way quite a bit. Yeah, we're gonna have to give some first person melee combat a look. Oof, how am I gonna gauge that? Oh, that's gonna be gnarly. All right, yeah, we'll definitely have to give that a try. Hmm. All right, why are you not getting in the vehicle? can't see if my weapon's out <laughs> while I'm in first person mode. Come here, zombie. I need to test out some first person axe work. Come on, just one of you, please. Damn it, I said one of you. Oh my god, I'm gonna get motion sick from this. <laughs> That's going to make me motion sick from the uh, insane wobbling. Ah, I keep timing the swing wrong. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That is kind of wacky. Oof. See what happens 
Can I get out through here? I cannot get out through here. Oh, I can get out through here. Can I get in through here? I cannot. <laughs> it's a little tricky though. I want to shoot a gun and see if uh, the whole block comes running this way. I guess I can shoot that guy. Find out. Let's go with the uh, the 308 that we've got very limited. No no scope on this one. Never mind. We're going with the uh, submachine gun. Come on, get the right number. What? No penetration? Didn't get the second guy? Nobody moved. Okay. Still a little fuzzy on their behavior with guns. I had that whole intersection show up earlier, but it seemed to happen when I switched to the pistol. Yeah, see, look at those guys. What the hell? That's weird. Is that CQB suppressed? I wonder if that CQB is suppressed. I gotta look. See if we can figure this behavior out or if it's just, you know, inconsistent. Inspect. Guess I'm gonna take the magazine. So, equipment. Hey, you. Are you? I mean, CQB variant, so is it just auto suppressed? It doesn't have like a suppression stat or slot that I can see, but I'm not getting any reaction when I shoot with this. All right, let's try this and see if they come running. <laughs> the big boom guns do not bring them, but the nine mil, the nine mil drives them nuts. What? <laughs> What's going on? I do not understand. Huh. All right. Well, let's get some more first person mode practice. I kind of like the first person mode. I think it would be more visceral and uh, harder. And it looks good, but man, that melee combat where it's, everything's kind of wobbling. I don't know if I could put up with that for too long. I mean, if, even if I could, I don't know if my audience could. I'm getting a little more used to it. We'll keep using it for a while. Cause I do find it a much more immersive. I've got, uh, I've got, I think Bloom turned off. I forget which. I haven't gone in and fiddled with too much of the uh, visual settings yet. So, settings. What do we got? Motion blur. Let's do disabled motion, disabled Bloom. Depth of field. Uh, let's see what that does when we turn it off. Uh, third person field of view, first person field of view. I'm not going to fiddle with those. No cheating with the gamma. View distances. Everything else is pretty much ultra. So, all right, back. Not sure if that accounts for everything or if it requires a uh, restart. getting a little more used to it. A 
let's go look down here. Uh oh. Oh, it's just getting dark. I thought it was zoning. Large generator. The rider jacket again. Rope. Nah, I don't want any of that. And I'll have my flashlight with me. Uh, I guess not. Oof. So jittery coming down the stairs. I wonder how extensive this is. Hey, zombie. stacked up on me. That is really dark. Hey there. <laughs> Good thing I moved. Flies there. <laughs> Radiation pills. I'll uh, do a further exploration another time. Interesting. Went further and uh, looks like it's more extensive than I originally thought it would be. I thought it would probably be just a little entry area with uh, collapsed tunnels. And it I might be still have collapsed tunnels and not go much farther. But we'll check that out later. Let's see. Zombies that I shot... important than ever to turn to face the direction of possible danger. All right, so flashlight, equip into tools and battery there. Maybe we'll go back down and look again. More gold water. Rotten bread. Hmm. 
I'm going to jump downstairs just so it doesn't do that jittery animation. <laughs> Save myself. All right, so how much does this help? So looks like it's collapsed, but there's something over there. Crawler there. Can't hit him. Old Kukri. A varmint rifle, huh? Nah, we're good on those. Oh, it's not a dead end. What is that? Welder's mask, 2% protection. We're wearing attack helmet, so actually that's a face item. What item is that? Face wear. Uh, that's where we've got our respirator mask, which I'm keeping the respirator, thanks. Hi there. Travel to Lawrence Creek Station. But that's probably somewhere on this same map, I assume. And I don't have my GPS, so I'd be going from one unknown place to another. This place has got to be something I can identify, though. Are we like... We're not... We're definitely not here. Are we... Here? Yeah, I think we're here. That's that uh, aircraft we saw. Eventually, I'll start recognizing things. Not that many town looking things. All right. Um, I don't want to go there right now. Antiseptic and paramedic pants. Whoa. A rare alpine backpack. Problem is... <laughs> I guess it is better. 54 versus 48, so another stack. All right, so... Let's see. Um... Pull there, can't go there, can't go there. Transfer complete. All right, I don't know how much bigger these backpacks get, but a, a rare Alpine backpack sounds pretty high end. Wonder if that's like an always here loot or if that was random. I haven't seen whether or not that's a thing yet.
He heard me looting, so there is definitely some kind of consequence to looting. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to be in this mode. Uh, let's go ahead and consume. Drop. Wait, I said drop. Chem light. Throwable light. How do you throw it? It equips. All right. Ah. Wow. That went a lot further than I expected it to. Not as much light as I thought, but we're getting more light than I expected in here. Hmm. All right, crawler, crawler, walker. This is not good. Mm, the axe is not equipped. I can't tell. Don't like interacting with crawlers. pick them back up. Does this go to a different station? Elwood station, apparently. I'd sure like to give out this rare, it's not so rare. I've seen like four or five of them. <laughs> I don't think rare is the word they should use. I think we got it cleared. Um, a buildable ceiling light, huh? All right, pretty cool little spot. Travel between stations. Apparently 10 per stack. Forty energy minus five thirst. I need a med box.
Alright, vehicle is full. Uh, what time is it? I'm getting late. More skill points. One point. I need three. They're expensive. All right, so. Well, I was planning on uh, firing up the CVA soundtrack. <laughs> I was a little deep into this one, so I haven't bothered, but I'll have it running next time just for some background music. So, yeah, a uh, little town area. I'm still not sure where I'm at. Definitely can't be like that little grouping. It's not that. Not. I don't think it's this. I don't think we're near the water. Doesn't look right. No, no. I don't think it's this one from that direction. So I wonder if there's a way of identifying the stations short of, you know, just taking the trip and figuring out where you're at. Um, I don't think we went there. Definitely didn't go there. Uh, the zoom action is weird. That's a that's a pretty big place there. Looks like residential, commercial, warehouses. That looks like an actual town. That'd be interesting. All right. Um. So let's. We got plenty of this place to explore. Still, we've only actually seen about this much of it. I got spooked by my own graphic there when I turned around. It looked like somebody was right next to me. All right. So I still don't know how to properly set up like a camp area or a base that uh, I can use to dump stuff off. We're still running into this problem. Maybe I need to make one of these. Nails we've got, scrap metal we can get, and wood we can get. So I think I need a workbench. Craft a larger variety of items. I bet you that we need that so we can make the pickaxe. So then we can go get stone so we can make the uh, campfire. Let's work on that. Ten wood, two scrap, four nails. Uh, in my workbox here. Open. We've got wood. We've got scrap. We've got nails. Okay. So give me, give me these. Craft a workbench. Place a workbench. Craft. Uh, uh, we got fishing poles. We got, oh crap, we got other benches. <laughs> Weapons bench, building station. Oh uh, boy. Uh, makeshift body armor. Sleeping bags, splints, lock picks, more nails. All right, so it's going to be a tree of building things. Wonderful. That needs casings that I haven't been picking up. That's just more of the same. That's what we've already just put down, though. Yeah, crafting bench. Wait, no, crafting bench, building station. Different. Ten, two, and four versus ten, ten, and five. I need a little bit of wood. I said four. <laughs> oh, they actually fall down. I'm going to bet they respawn when you reload. Uh, how many did I need? I got enough. Come here, you. What do you do? 
There is spikes, traps, gun lockers, fridges, storage crates, the campfire. You know, we could already do that. Why would we need you for that? That's weird. The problem is we don't have access to stone. And I'm still not seeing the thing. But it scrolls and scrolls. Oh, God, did the other one scroll? I didn't notice. Battery charger, supply crates, walls, doors, trophies, tents, watchtowers. There's quite a bit more stuff than I thought. Palisades, spiked walls, gates. Must, uh, that other screen must have scrolled. Let's go look. Nope. Oh, it's got categories. That's what's going on. Oh, never mind. Those are just filters. Huh. All right. <laughs> Still don't know where to go get the tools. You gonna tell me it's on the ammo, the weapons bench? Because that's gonna be kind of rude. No filters for this one, huh? Hmm. Cooking fire. Well, there we go. Cooking fire. Scrap metal and wood. I just used up all my scrap metal and wood. That gets us around the other one. Planks and nails. More planks and nails. Planks, nails, and polymer. All right, well, I'm still not seeing the thing I need to do a pickaxe. The only thing I haven't built that I've seen in the chain so far is the weapons bench. All right, so they're also not going to tell me how many. And if I want wood planks, that's there. Wood planks out of wood, so that's not a problem. But we're out of nails. Um, Just scrap metal. All right. Wrong. Yeah, used up all my raw materials. All right, so wood we can chop, no problem. But scrap metal I got to get from the vehicles salvaging. And or looting. Tools cabinet, let's get that placed here. Get our bed placed and... I think that's it for the moment. That'll hold a few. If I can just get the uh, fire thing down, and if it'll let me boil some water, we'll be in better shape. So, I just need the scrap metal. I uh, don't remember how far off we had any salvageable vehicles. Usually they're the ones with the smoke coming off of them. Foggy and 2100 already. Alright. New spawn point. It's not giving me the spawn point message. Not sure why. Previously to the right side of the screen in the middle I was getting a spawn point set message. So I'm a little worried that it's not doing it. I 
Oh God, it is continuously making auto saves. <laughs> it's, that's, that's terrible. All right, so we got a save spot. Uh, it's morning time. We are hungry and thirsty. Lunchbox says. 16, 20, 16, 16. Some of them providing some hydration. All right, you first. I'm trying to hold off on drinking the dirty water. I think this is all or nothing, though. I don't think it saves portions. Like, if I only have... 10 hydration needed. I think it's using the whole thing. Another thing I have to test. Still foggy. This time just instantly gets set forward without actually affecting any of the world. All right. Uh, I'm not going to bother chopping wood when I don't have the scrap. So I think it's just head back into the town here. Again, I cannot tell when I've got this damn thing. It's green. It's green when it's ready. All right, so we did that. Nothing. Nothing. Buildable space shuttle. Most of this. <laughs> we snuck talk a zombie. zombies back there. <laughs> 
Hmm. I wonder if they're on a, a respawn timer. Table we'll repair kit again. Oh, got the compass. Hey, compass, equip. We have our compass indicator. Hey, zombie. <laughs> Don't like having my back to the door. Well, I'm going to clear my way back that way. Hello. Oh, God. <laughs> Bleeding. That guy snuck up on me pretty good. I got to add check my six into my routine. I think that clears the entry into the town. All right. Too much gas, too many repair kits. Definitely need to get some kind of additional storage down. Nope, not you. Oh, repair kits can go in there too. All right, cool. Oops. And guzzling. Okay, looking a little better in there. <clears throat> then back in. We're about eh, we're getting close to about halfway done, I think. All right, sneak attack. Oh, 
Or somebody. Alright, we did that. We haven't been in there. We don't have a way in. Intersections looking a little spicy. Be one, two, three, four, five, six. Six so far. What happens when I shoot the red barrel? Ooh, bullets. All right, I got to shoot the red barrel. Oh. Yeah, that was a little weird. <laughs> They're coming out from all over the place. All right. I got my backpack in my way. <laughs> my backpack's blocking my view. Wonder if that just happens with the pistol. Yeah, that was weird. So we had the pistol out, and when I try... No, back to first person. When I was swiveling around, it kept putting my backpack in my... Yeah, like my backpack keeps swinging into my view. And it was staying in my view. <laughs> hey, you. So something blew up. I wasn't even really aiming at it when it blew up. I'm not really sure what happened there. Lost track of who I killed when. Well, that's rude. <laughs> hey, these guys are fast. Might have a problem. And they're going to be timed just different enough that it's going to be annoying. I had to get them on top of each other so I could get the multi-hits. Otherwise, I'd hit the one and the other one would come right in on top in my backswing and hit me. All right. Um... 45. I keep finding 45 ACP. I don't have a gun that fires 45 ACP. Hello. One guy's running my ass. I wonder how they handle it when I jump on a car like that. That's not good. Big boom boom. What 
whole lot of nothing. Back in we go. Not getting any scrap metal. Kind of what I need. It's on the back side of this block. Ooh, radiated. Infected undead shambler. What, is, what does that mean? Oh, interact undead shambler. Never mind. He was not radiated. All right, change positions <laughs> so I can see the enemies coming. Crowbar, huh? I haven't seen an independent use for the crowbar yet. Got too many. Jeans with knee pads, huh? Sure. Hunter scope. That, that should go on our rifle. All right, if there's anything left back that way.
Nice place. A little rough to try to live inside of a town, though, given the way the respawns work. Alright, food, water... Nope. Traverse for 10 kilometers with one character. Guess we've done that. I don't know, maybe you could, since I've never seen a zombie start inside a building, maybe you could set up like a base up here. But if you can't interact with all this stuff to, to destroy it or get rid of it, I guess it'd be a bit of a pain in the butt. <laughs> I don't know how much stuff you need to be able to put down for the base. Hey there, spiked baseball bat. Chemlite, yes. Care about most of the rest. Piano. <laughs> God dang it. Gotta stop uh, holding the F key. Nope. <laughs> well, how do you play it? Uh, every time I yeah, long press or short press F, it doesn't... Oh, it doesn't actually say it's going to play. Uh, I guess it's just for decoration. <laughs> Still. Uh, shoot. 30 and 4, huh? No, I'll stick with my my uh, my fire axe. Thanks. But yeah, with no zombies inside, I guess maybe you could put a put a base up there. Maybe I don't know exactly how all that stuff works yet. Respawning behind me yet? Still not one single scrap metal. scope yeah, there's some bullet casings at least finally. I heard somebody coming up behind me. So we got those buildings. Oh, hello. Run, run. Ouch.
think these are the fast movers. Yep. Oh, crap. Dude. Undead sprinter. Fast zombie. Thought I got the other one hung up. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> those buildings. We've been through the there and to the back there. Two guys we know about, and then we just return the other side, I guess. Unless I run out of space. Come here, Sprinter. parking lot back there. <laughs> All right, we're out the far side. There's another building over there. Got all the way down here to the supermarket and we're all full up. go. Jeez. Uh, a lunchbox. You full still? Mostly. Um, we need food. Could fill us up pretty close. Oh, milk carton. Hmm. Stuff it into our jeans. Ah, it's getting dark. I was really hoping I'd finish this end of the trip before dark. Eh, we might make it. Damn it. That is too much.
<laughs> uh, I'm not even going to try. Now, I don't think I found anything that's going to get me storage crate built down there. Oh my God, just stone that. I need to do the bag inside of a bag inside of a bag thing. Um, let's try and get into these buildings. All right, I think that's it. We'll have some water and a few minor things. I'm not going to worry about. box is full. Maybe I'll just get rid of this dirty water. It's not like I need it now. Mm. Looks like it is stacking stuff inside the boxes as you loot, which is nice. Still not enough scrap metal. I don't think two is going to get even the smallest storage crate up. So, um,. That doesn't sound good. Wonder if that's a freshly spawned thing. Oops. Hope that doesn't last a super long time because that's going to get annoying. Really annoying. <laughs> uh, it's getting more annoying. Wow. Is that a. I think that's just like a car alarm or something. That it's going to attract a bunch of zombies to a specific spot. All right. Uh, yeah, that is that is really damn annoying. That is like mind-numbing annoying. There, uh, Master Zero for a little while. No, thank you. So crate, 12 planks and nine nails. I've got 10 nails. So I think that's what we're gonna have to go for. Oh, maybe not. It doesn't tell me how much storage they have. Is a storage crate better, worse, neutral? I mean, 14 and 10, 12 and nine. I assume that's more, more space. Yeah, let's make that so. 14 planks, which means I need wood to turn into planks. And we'll figure it out. I need somewhere to dump stuff.
I guess four is how many you get out of it. Is it six wood for four planks? Well, used them all up. All right, let's chop another tree down. I haven't seen anything regarding fatigue or sleep mechanics that are needed. So far, it just passes time. All right, more boards. Four, eight, ten. I think that's, was it 14? I think it was 14. None there. None there. Uh, guess over here for now. Oof, that's it. Oh man, <laughs> I was really hoping for more than that. Hmm, what to do? What to do? Guess we'll store gasoline or this bulky stuff that I'm not currently using. Energy bars won't stack, huh? All right, good enough for now. Clears out the inventory a bit in both mine and the vehicle. 
Um, Hunter scope. I wanted to look at that for this. Uh, two. Alrighty then. Still not variable. I'm gonna bet they don't have variable scopes. That's pretty good for sniping though. So long range, oh my god, oh my god, and let's just make noise and attract zombies to me. <laughs> um, you can't be used. We already got the hunter scope installed. Uh, vehicle status is 84 fuel, 100 health, so we're fine there. We got some workbenches up, some storage. I still don't have the campfire. We're going for this one, but I need to get uh, a good amount of scrap metal for it. We're only getting that really usefully off of vehicles that we salvage, so we'll probably have to go driving to find some of those. Um, we know where we're at, right here. Oh, this map thing is weird. I think I might go back up the road the direction we came, go back over here. I think there might be a bunch of vehicles. Take a look at. Plus we have the subway we could pop in and out of. I just worry that if I go down to that subway and we exit onto another station and it puts me in one of those tunnels again, that I'll have two or three zombies right there on top of me. And if I try to run out, I'll be in another city area with zombies right on top of me again. So I kind of dread going through there until I, I don't have to do it at some point just to see how it works, but hey runner wonder if the siren noise is respawning these or if they're just respawning on the timer what time is it 5.30, sun's about to come up refuel, show generator area Apparently I have to get it working before I do. Do we actually have to connect wiring or something? Or is it just going to automatically power anything in the radius that the generator's area encompasses? Flap. Not letting me select that. <laughs> How many auto saves are we up to now? 40 or so. All right, so that's all going to respawn anyway. Um, that's all I've got time for for now. <sighs> Uh, it's interesting. There's there's parts of it I enjoy. I do like the first person mode better than the third person mode. It's more immersive, um, more opportunity for me to get ambushed and and such. I have to be a lot more careful in that mode. So uh, we'll probably play permadeath in first person, and I'll have to figure out a few more of the mechanics uh, before I start official runs in uh, surrounded. But um, yeah, it seems cool. It's it's got some pretty interesting parts to it. Uh, there are quite a few areas I haven't figured out or explored yet, but we've got some of the basics down. Um, so I got to figure out ways to not abuse the respawn type mechanics and all that kind of stuff. And the permadeath will help a little bit. So we shall see, but, uh, that's going to be it for me for now. I will probably, I will probably not be on again later today, but, uh, I'll be back tomorrow and we'll get back into the swing of things.
So thanks for watching, everybody.